address the House for one minute and, uh, and ask unanimous consent. Without objections, the gentlewoman from Texas is recognized for one minute. Well, I too rise today to salute our friend and patriot, Joyce Hamlet, uh, because uh, it's a surprise for some of us who wish that the news was not accurate. But I cannot miss an opportunity to call her a historic figure in this house. Uh, Joyce made history as being named the custodian, the protector of the mace. And I can assure you, she handles this historic responsibility with grace, firmness, leadership, patriotism, and a love of country. I do want to say that Joyce was a hero on January 6, 2021. It was Joyce's face that we looked at to get the original charge of getting to safety, of ensuring that the doors were closed. I heard her voice. I saw her pointing, giving instructions to make sure that as members finally discovered that we were under attack, that we would be safe. She did not move to protect herself. She stood fast to ensure that members had the right information to be able to be taken or to rush to safety. Her family loves her, her grandchildren. We don't realize that she has a wonderful responsibility of her grandchildren, and they have grown up under her, and I have watched that happen. And so, Mr. Speaker, let me finally say this, that we will lose a great American, and I hope as she goes in another direction, there will be others blessed by this grand dom, if you will, and this great American, as I said, and a person who will always love this institution, and we will always love Joyce Hamlet and respect her for her service to the nation. God bless you, and God bless the United States of America. I yield back.